Okay, uh, okay, Bismillah. Inshallah, today we are going to revise what we have studied from the uh, beginning, Inshallah. We always say that we start with Al Kalam. Al Kalam. And uh, we said that Al Kalam is divided into three parts. One is Ismun, and one is Fa'lun, and the last part is Harf. Harfun. Type. We said that every ism in Arabic, so to be able to understand Al-Kalam, you should be able to understand this three part. Because this three part, when they are together, they make the Kalam. And Al-Quran is Kalamullah Azza wa Jal. So we said Al-Ism, show how many things. Four. One, gender, then number. Definite or indefinite, and we said status, which you should not worry about it now. Okay, so uh, every noun in Arabic will give this four things. Will give the information of this four things: gender, number, definite, and uh, status. So we said gender. We have two two type of gender: masculine and feminine. So everything in Arabic has a gender, either masculine or Feminine. We said one of the things that tell us is it uh, feminine or masculine is the ta uh, al marbuta. Type. Okay. When we studied that the gender masculine or feminine, we said that also the gender it will have its own package. So when the singular masculine come, it ha it come with uh, its own pronoun that fit with this uh, with, with the gender. So here we studied also how the we studied anta, uh, ana, and also uh, huwa. For feminine, we studied hadhihi, anti, uh, also ana, can, if a feminine, she can say, and also uh, here. When we studied number, we said number is also three parts. Singular, dual, and Plural. When we studied singular, we already it mentioned here. Dual, we said we can change the singular noun to dual by only adding uh, suffixes, which is any or or we said sometimes we see it in the Quran as any, any. And what the difference between any and any status? So when we have Muslimani and Muslimaini, for example, both of them refers to male to male Muslim. The difference is only because of uh, status, which is related to the uh, grammar. Uh, plural also, we said we have masculine and feminine. Uh, before this, when we uh, take also dual, we said it comes with its own package of pronouns. So when we point at two, we said Hadani. We also use here antuma for two. Nahnu for we. And also we talking to feminine. We say hatani. Hatani for two. Okay. And also we said we can change the singular to plural by by adding. Una, or we said Ina. This is for masculine a plural. Also the same. What the difference between Una and Ina? Only it's related to the status. The meaning is same. What we want when we see in the Quran, Ina, we know it is masculine plural. Also this comes with its own package of pronoun. If we point at a group, we say Ha'ula'i. And also we use, for antum and nahnu. Wait. Type feminine plural. We said we add 
Aton or Aten. Also the same, the differences between these two are only related to the uh, status. Also, we said it will come with its own package of pronoun. We say Haulai can be for masculine plural and feminine plural. Antum, Antunna, and also same they can say Nahnu. Right? Type. We studied also when we have definite and indefinite. We said definite in Arabic when you add what? Al. Indefinite. Arab they use tanween or when no al no al why because like the dual we say muslimani it will not have tanween but it is indefinite under this part we said that there is different function for tanween and definite and indefinite and this is related to make sentences so here what we studied we studied nominal sentence nominal sentence and we said when you arrive here we will apply what we studied there in this part why, why because we want to make a sentence first we start with definite which will be the subject and then the khabar which is the information that you are giving about this definite it must match in gender and number so here also we said it will be indefinite and they have to match in gender and number. If I'm talking about two, the khabar should be about two. I'm talking about one, the khabar will be one. One feminine, also khabar should be one feminine. Also here we studied uh, the adjectival phrase, big house, big girl, small girl, and we said that when we have, uh, when we are describing in Arabic, they have to match in four characteristics. All these four must uh, match. So, so this is where we're studying adjectival phrase. So we said they have to match in gender, number, definite or indefinite and also status right why we studied here here because also it's related to the definiteness also we studied if you remember another part which is the structure of of how to make uh, of we said when we want to make of when the word come no alif lam no tanween we said 90%, 90% it will be off. Mathalan, al baytu means the house. Baytun, a house. Baytu, yeah, this is the structure which is off. Uh, <coughs> status, we already now almost revise it by seeing ani and aini, uh, una and Ina, Aton, and Aten. So the status, if you remember, we have three for the noun. We will have three status every noun. One we call it R, one we call it N, one we call J. We said this R up to now, it's a strong status. It will show this is the default that come with every noun. And also we said this is a status will show the doer who's doing the uh, action. So we said one of this, it will show the doer, and this we said, this is the default in Arabic. And we said it has many reasons. One of them that we are studying now, it will show object. So if I have a verb, and then I have a noun under R, then a noun under N, so I can tell that this R did this verb to N. R did the verb to N. How I can tell under N, if it's singular, I can see, مثلاً, Muslimun. If it's two, I will say, Muslimani. If it's plural, Muslimuna. If it's a feminine plural, 
Musliman Tun. For an also the same. If it's singular, it will be Musliman. If it's dual, Muslimaini. If it's plural, Muslimina and Muslimatin, if it's feminine, plural. For us, as we said, you don't have to worry about this. Only when you see a verb in the Quran, you can tell either it is who's the doer and who's the uh, object. Wadiha? I will erase this so we can go to the verb. Okay, when we when we studied the verb we studied here three types of verb. We said Okay. We said we have Malden, which is past tense, present tense, and Command, which is Amr. Why are we study in this order? Because present tense is taken from past and command also is taken from the present tense. We said present tense is the root verb in Arabic. That's why it will most of the verb we said are three literal. It comes from three letters with an empty space here for suffix. Why we need this suffix? to show the doer of past tense. And we said this, if it's first person, we use to, sukun dan, to, or na. When second person, sukun ta, sukun ti, sukun tuma, tum, and tunna. When it's third person, we said we leave it as it is if it's huwa because this is the default doer, fa'ala. For feminine, we say fa'alat. For two, fa'ala. For many, fa'alu. And for feminine, fa'alna. Okay? Taib. When we go now to the present tense, we said present tense is taken from past. We take the past as it is, then we will put prefix. And it might have suffixes. These prefixes are always four letters. A, na, ya, and ta. طيب. Let's see. First person, I'll say, for example, af'alu or naf'alu. A refers to ana, af'alu. Na refers to we nafal. Second person, we said we use ta. Second person, because it might be one man, one feminine, two. That's why we need suffixes to show the number. So here I'll say tafalu for anta, anti, tafalina, antuma, tafa. Lani, if I'm talking to two. Antum, taf'aluna, for many. And here, taf'alna, for family. Third person we said is, ya. Yeah. So these ta here, I will change it to, to ya, yeah, except the lady, except the singular family. We said it's, uh, it's different type. So here I will say, يفعلو. Only here we said, تفعلو. It's exception. So it's same as anta. But we said it's very easy to see it in this context. Always the feminine will be uh, very clear. So تفعلاني becomes يفعلاني. تفعلونا. Yaf'aluna, taf'alna, yaf'alna, right? Type. Command, we said, is taken from present tense, from the second person, the rule. We take out the prefix and we take out 
the noon if it has noon and put sukun. So taf'al it becomes if'al. And he said if'al can be only to one man. If I'm commanding or I'm telling, I'm talking to a lady, I will say if'ali. I'm talking to two if'ala. I'm talking to many if'alu. Only ladies if'alna. So here when we studied huruf, inshallah this will be our next step. But what we studied from the huruf, we studied huruf that comes only with the nouns. Only come with the nouns. This huruf, grammatically they call it huruf al-jar. And we said this huruf will bring, will bring the J status. Type. If you remember this huruf, we said the important part to know the meaning, like uh, min is from fi in ala on ila to li for b with uh, an about or also from ka is like uh, what do we see here and also we to what and also put the huruf of qasam when you want to swear which is wow and ba and ta so this actually will cover a lot of uh, things in one page it will cover the structure of noun the structure of the verb and also the uh, huruf the next step inshallah we will see how to connect this word together and to make sentences to understand the kalam, insha'Allah.